why are black girls so afraid to be saved? Mm -hmm. Like, why is that such a problem for us? Um, especially when a lot of us like have these experiences that take it's it takes so long, right? Like, we have experiences that keep going on in our lives that we know are not. This is not how this is supposed to be. Mm -hmm. But this is all that I know. And then the new experience comes in and it is what we wanted, but it's like, wait, no, that can't be real. That can't be. Oh, um, yeah. Yeah. And so when you said that, it immediately made me think of the reason that, you know, I also love oh so much because I know this is a reason why, one of the big reasons why you love your partner so much. I remember one time me and O had this really big argument and the argument was based on leave me alone. Mm -hmm. When I am mad, leave me alone. Mm -hmm. I don't want to talk about things. I don't want to talk about them. Just let me have my moment and I will be okay. And he literally said to me, I don't know who in your life just refused to see you, but I see you. Mm -hmm. And I'm not going to pretend that I don't see you. I'm not going to act like I don't feel the things that you feel, that you are this invisible thing that is allowed to just be hurt in a corner and be by themselves and I just walk away from you and allow you to just figure that out or not figure it out and pretend nothing's wrong. I see you. Mm -hmm. And that was that first moment for me that I was just, oh yeah, that is the thing that when people love you, they're supposed to do. Mm -hmm. That is something that I'm allowed to feel. I should have that. I should have had that. And as you were speaking, it was like, no, it wouldn't have been different had you saved yourself because you did save yourself. You allowed someone to see you. Mm -hmm. You allowed somebody to love you. You allowed yourself to have more than you had ever allowed yourself to have before. That was a choice that you made. You could have easily blocked that man out. You could have easily not told him what was going on. You could have easily told yourself, like a lot of us do, that it didn't happen and just kept it. And the moments that you felt triggered, just pretended that that was just the thing, I'm moving on. You allowed yourself to even whisper to yourself, I said no this time. That's big. And these are the moments where, you know, like the little girl in you spoke to the little girl in me that it's okay. It's okay to be saved. I hope that every black girl can be saved and know what that feels like. So, yeah. Not everybody crying. <laughs> no, I'm like, damn, I'm not gonna be. I should have just. Everybody. <laughs> should have had a black side before a black outfit though. Me and me are. Right, we yeah, we birthday. Say happy birthday. But at the same time, it's like to see tears for a black man, mm -hmm. as a black man, mm -hmm. makes my spirit really believe in the fact that maybe for me, I might find a black man. Because mm -hmm. never have I ever mm -hmm. thought that was coming around. Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm just scared. Um, so do you? Speak almost like on your heart. Yeah, what's that? Okay. It's so scary. It's so scary. It's so scary to trust anybody. You know that it's really for real. That's a fact. Yeah. It's so scary to, to think like it's for real. Like, I don't know. I just think that it's scary to think that those are this is like horror stories we're talking about mm -hmm. the idea that maybe there are times where I thought that I was being saved or that I I thought that I was allowing someone good or or I went through all these various precautions and this time I let my guard down in this way and and there was some atrocity some gross thing that happened something egregious and then you begin not to trust your own judgments like can I even trust my intuition like mm -hmm. not only I'm 
am I only, do I only believe that I deserve this thing? So then you disconnect from everything. You don't allow yourself to feel anything. And I think that, um, I think what you're saying, like the whole concept of like all black, little black girls deserve to be saved. It's like, yeah, but like, I don't know. It's, it's, it's like, do I have, it's a question to me. Like, do I have the faith that that is something that, um, that can happen? And then, and then like in this deeper way, I'm like, I don't know. And I always bring up God. Like, I do think that God can be the vessel where you love. Love is the vessel where you are able to be saved. Love is a savior in and of itself. Mm -hmm. Whether, you know, whether it's a person or a situation or a circumstance, God is personified in this way. Um, and I think it's just this concept that I think I also shared with you about can black women be loved ethically? Mm -hmm. Like, can we experience this? ethical erotic true love and i don't know if i believe it so i i mm -hmm. think i'm in this i'm in this place i mean it can happen for some people and for those people i'm so i'm so always so happy i'm always so happy for that but i know for me i just know that i feel like i'm a very complex dynamic super talented misunderstood highly appreciated but then also like discounted people like take things they like suck the f energy out of me and they're like i need all this and then once they're like oh now you're being emotional and human like eh, it's enough you know i i i'm like i don't want to do this well of of uh, what well of water for someone else to drink from and i have nothing so that concept just um just scares me so I don't know. But what you said, I feel we all identified with. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like how you described yourself, like we all, I think, could feel like I'm that thing that's the freaking Christmas ornament. Like the thing to put up on the wall, the thing to bring to the places mm -hmm. and to sit on the phone with and get all the gems and information from. And then when it comes to pouring back, they good. Yeah. yeah. One of the quotes um, that I've read that sticks with me when I think about black women and their uses in the society is that if the world did not have black women, it would have to create them. And it would have to create them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And what the quote what the quote really was referencing is all the uses black women have on this earth and everything that's, that is able to be extracted from them for the service of others is something that's necessary to keep this world running the way that it is. And thinking the more that I've analyzed that quote over and over and thought about it is when you think about the concept of, of inventing something, it usually has to do with mechanics. Mm -hmm. And so if they did not have black women, they would have invented something that could do all the things that we do and then be turned off so we wouldn't complain. Mm -hmm. Sorry. I think that as the black man in the group, <laughs> okay. I have to now ask questions. Okay. Number one, because y'all had me crying. Mm -hmm. Number two, because I think that there is a misunderstanding. Mm -hmm. um, who do you see yourselves as? Mm. Is my first question. And you know, That's individual. To see I, myself individually, yeah. I see myself as what I am to people. Mm -hmm. And that was before all of this. Okay, so for clarity, what is it that you are to people? Because mm -hmm. let's let's take it one by one. I'm gonna ask the same question. We might need to write this down. <laughs> the way I've been set up, I won't remember. Mm. 20 minutes from now, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Well, why don't you just answer, ask the questions that you want to ask? Who do you see yourselves are? Oh. <clears throat> I, I, immediately, I just thought of myself as God's daughter. Mm -hmm. Okay. Like, I just think of myself as this divine being. Like, I love that. So you do I, realize how complex in general that is. Yeah, mm -hmm. but also, like, how magnificent it is. No, for yeah. sure, but at the same time, it's like, we can't, when well. it comes down to a human level, magnificent is not something that can be on the spectrum. It's more so about understanding. And so 
in literal terms, a God energy is very much so like a multiple choice test. Mm -hmm. And if it's open ended, if it's requiring something different, everybody's confused. So it's a matter of like really being able to define mm -hmm. in that God energy. I think even when we look at like what you express to us tonight, it's like, yes, I 100% agree you exhibit that, but it is also you need to define especially and specifically each time what it is.